Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'll be showing you around the new Lekki Ekbe Expressway that has been constructed. This one is a bit different because it has a different and a little connection to Victoria Island. So should we call this Victoria Ekbe Expressway? Anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notification button because I post new videos every week. So let's dive into it. Currently, this road is about a hundred kilometer from Lagos, Victoria Island, to same Ekbe in Lagos. I know most people claim Ekbe it's it's a Yoruba land, it's in Ogun State, but we don't know for now. According to the map, they say Lagos is in Ekbe is in Lagos. Sorry for that. So we don't really know for now, but we just hope we get this right. Anyways, this road was over a billion naira, and it's said to last for at least six months before the construction is over but we all know that this is likely gonna take more than six months not just because of the slow construction but because of um the weather now this is rainy season and this tends to delay some of the job like you can't expect most of these workers to be working under the rain especially when the rain comes with heavy wind and that is why we know that this is gonna take more than six months so as we continue to progress into the video, I'll play some part of the video which I made earlier, but these videos did not really come our way because they were blurry, and that is why I'm here again to make this video rise this time around. Some of these buildings you are seeing, they were asked to evacuate these premises because the express is meant to pass through here, and these buildings are spoiling the um the settings of the expressway which means they have to reduce the size of the express if they are going to allow these buildings and this building is not just here it's over like over a hundred buildings on this street lane which has to move or the road has to be compressed so nonetheless i'm just trying to show you around at this time i'm making this video not so many people were outside but the first time i came there were a lot of crowd and that as of that it gave me some limitation in filming because not everyone wants to be on camera and everywhere you turn their crowd population and that is why the first video didn't come our way and it turned out to be blurry due to the camera setting because it was shot in a rush and that is why but nonetheless i've come to make a better one right now and that is why i'm moving around so I'll be walking as far as I can to show you guys this new Eki Ekbe Expressway or rather Victoria Ekbe Expressway. So please don't forget to subscribe if you have not and do well to share with your friends and also like my video please it's very very important like this video thank you. As you can see on this part it's like a swamp with people in little little um wooden houses they just raise their head to avoid the rain and also to live a better life so this is it this is the swamp right here and the caterpillars earlier today they closed by five and this is probably five ten ten minutes past five and that's why you're not seeing the caterpillar here because they have all gone to park somewhere at the back i'll show you the video where they park so this is the swamp they have to take out all the dirt in this place if you look right this side you see where all the dirt are heaped like from head to toe it's dead 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 and that's why so after taking this out you have to fill it with the fresh sand and before the construction can begin so in other ways it's very clear they're doing a good job and we won't like to put them under pressure to be fast and keep to their word for six months but instead we like them to complete the project so it don't end up like some of the previous projects we have had in nigeria whereby this they remain unfinished and abandoned for almost decades now so we hope this will make it different this is one of the houses that i'm talking about it needs to be removed because i don't know if the surveyor of the land didn't do his or her job very well and this land these buildings are seen entered the road so it's either they are demolished or the road is being reduced so like when i mean reduced like in size it used to be a three-way or four-way lane and this one is said to have a railway as well 
So, but if if not, maybe the railway has to be removed. I don't know, but let's see how it goes. So, the, all this place I'm working is filled with swamp and it smells so bad. But for the sake of bringing good content to your screen, I don't mind. So, guys, oh my god! So, guys, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. So, I'll show you around the other premises, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. See you there. If you look straight, you see most of the people you are seeing right now are people who came here to pick, to take out ions, plastic from the swamp as the caterpillar is pulling out the sands and cool. So these people come here, they take plastic, sand, and, and maybe iron, and they, they sell it. It's, it's another business they do here. So I'm not surprised, but I've seen a lot of people doing the same business. And I hope it's profitable because it's not just one two three or four people there are dozens of people doing this business so which is likely to be profitable so let's continue to the video but guys before the construction of this road there was a demolition and before the demolition there was inhabitation in this place a lot of people used to live here before with wooden houses to they live here with their family So a lot of people used to live here before the demolition. So they used to live here with their families. Unfortunately, after the demolition, everyone has to leave because it came all of a sudden. Though they, they were warned six months prior, but not everyone took it serious. And when they came, they had to like chase everyone away. And the premises was torn down. And that before they started working on this place. So this is why this place is currently like this. So if you look forward, you can see the caterpillars, the tractors. Yeah, that is some of them there. That is as far as I can zoom. I'm not working with the zoom lens right now. So this is how it is. So but since it has been demolished, this used to be a ghetto. I do come here then. And for those who don't know, this place, particular place that I'm working on, it's called Marua. It's located in Lekki. For those who know in this place, who know this place, they can testify to that. They can confirm to that that this place used to be very, very popular and highly populated and polluted place as well. What do you expect from a ghetto? Nothing. So this is how it is. Nonetheless, this is the video.